This is number four in the Voltage Lab 2 walkthrough series. And in this one, we're gonna take a look at the Dynamics controllers. Now, these are really interesting because the Dynamics controllers are VCAs, they're low pass gates. They can act like a standard low pass filter. And we've got two of them. We've got two inputs on each, so they can act like a mixer. In its very simplest form, this is just a VCA, just an amplifier. And the dynamic CV in is almost like a volume knob. I'm triggering this by the gate from the keyboard. If we go into low pass gate mode, it's now like an amplifier latched to a low pass filter. So when you drop in the volume, you also drop in the cutoff frequency. If we turn up the resonance, you can see it much more clearly on the frequency analysis. And you can hear there, we've got a little envelope at the end, a bit of release. This is this response on the low pass gate mode. It's like a little envelope, and this is Pittsburgh Modgers take on the low pass gate. Um, in tradition, traditionally you couldn't change the response, it was fixed. Take the resonance off. And this is dependent on the dynamic CV coming in. If we go into pluck mode, we don't need the dynamic CV in. And as with the voltage generators and the oscillators, we can trigger MIDI mode or not. So we've got MIDI there, but we're not using MIDI at the minute, so it doesn't really matter. So in pluck mode, we've still got a response curve. But going back to the VCA, we've got no envelope. If we did want an envelope on that, as we've already looked at the function generators, let's use those. Let's put an input to function generator two, and the output will modulate the dynamics controller. That's in sustain mode, by the way. So yeah, we've just got a standard amplifier and envelope there. Maybe let's put some pitch onto that as well, so it's not as weird looking. <laughs> so that's in VCA mode. If we want to put that in low pass gate mode, the function generator is now modulating the envelope and the filter frequency, essentially. A bit like you've got uh, a synth with just a single envelope. So if we turn the resonance up, Let's put a rise on that. So all of a sudden we're just acting like your standard subtractive synth, aren't we? So that's the Dynamics controllers, their envelopes, their amplifiers, and their filters all in one. But we've also got four inputs here. We've got A and B for each of the Dynamics controllers. And that means we've got a mixer. So if we bring in, I don't know, well, firstly, I can mix between the signal and nothing. So if I bring in something from oscillator two and put that into dynamics controller two and listen to the mix out, we'll have the two of them. I'll just turn oscillator two down for now. And to control them both with the function generator, I will take that output and I will split it, um, split it in dynamics for one and dynamics for the other. <laughs> Pitch isn't changed on oscillator two, but you get the idea for this. It's a mixer. And then going back to what we did with 
um, oscillator one in the first video where we've got different outputs for it. So we'll take the seed output for oscillator one, which is the sawtooth, and we'll put that into B here. Let's turn oscillator two off for a second. I'm now blending between the standard sawtooth and the wave folded sawtooth. Just give you an idea that you can do various things with these, really. Or if you wanted to modulate, for example, the amount of the standard sawtooth coming in, we could take the seed out, put that into um, Dynamics Controller 2 in for now, and then modulate that, say, with the LFO. Choose a smaller cable, make things easy to see. That into the Dynamics Controller 2. And I think the final thing I haven't shown you on the Dynamics Controllers is what the green knob does. Basically, it's letting through the signal um, on the low pass gate. So let's just make this much simpler to look at, shall we? Let's take all this out of oscillator two going into there, gates coming into there. A really simple signal route in then. Low pass gates doing what we saw before. And then if we open the dynamics controller, it's um, letting through the lower frequencies, the high frequencies. So that can act a little bit like a long release when you've got like a quick ARP playing, for example, it can sound like you've opened the release without using other envelopes. Not the most musical of examples, I know, uh, but it does give you a feel for perhaps what you can do um, in a performance.